Hey guys, it's Anna, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do these five cool variations of a walkover. going to be able to learn these tricks today but also have the chance to win cash prizes by learning them because I have partnered up with the Compete app which is a social media platform with lots of fun challenges you can enter. So I'm currently hosting a walkover challenge on the app which will be open until September 12th where you can have the chance to win cash by uploading a video of your best walkovers or even just voting for your favorite entry. After watching this tutorial if you want to enter the contest I'll have a link to download the Compete app in the description and of course it's completely free and available on iOS and Android. And now let's go ahead and get started. Before learning the Valdez, you should already be able to do a back walkover. So if you can't do one, I'll leave my tutorial on that link down in the description. And there are some other tricks in this video as well that don't require a back walkover. The first step is to sit down with the leg that you normally kick over first in your back walkover straight, and the other leg bent so that your shin is perpendicular to the ground. The arm on the side of the bent leg should be behind you with your palm flat on the ground, and the other arm should be out in front like this in line with your straight leg. Once you're in the sitting position, practice pushing up into a back bend. When going up into the back bend, make sure that you're rotating your hand that starts on the ground. The next step is to add a kick over from your back bend. Once you can do the kick over, practice pushing up into your back bend from the seated position while keeping your straight leg lifted up from the ground. Finally, push off of the bent leg to kick over and do a full Valdez. To do what I like to call a seesaw but can also be known as a TikTok, you're going to need to be able to do a front walkover into a back bend and also a back bend kickover. The next step is to do the front walkover into a back bend, keeping one leg lifted in the air. Once you can do that, practice kicking off the leg that's on the ground to go back up to standing. The next step is to add those two motions together so as soon as your first foot hits the ground, try to push off of it to kick over. Finally, you can repeat that motion as many times as you would like to do the seesaw. This next one is a little bit trickier, it's called a front walkover split. So to do this one, you'll already need to be able to do the full splits, as well as arching back in your splits. If you can't do the splits, I'll leave my split stretching challenge linked in the description as well. You should also be able to do a front walkover before learning this one, so if you need to watch my front walkover tutorial, that will be in the description too. If you have long hair, I recommend putting it up in a bun for this trick, because if not, you'll probably land on it when trying to slide into your splits. I definitely learned that the hard way. Next practice, doing a front walkover into a back bend. Once you can do that, try to keep one leg lifted in the air like we did for the seesaw. From your back bend, place both feet on the ground, leaving your bottom foot in the same spot, and then try to roll over your bottom foot to slide into a split. Next, add those three steps all together. Finally, instead of stopping in your back bend, land already rolled over your toe so you can go into the split. For this one, there are two different options, so you should be able to do either a front walkover or a back walkover depending on if you want to learn a front walkover switch or a back walkover switch. You should also be able to do at least a brief handstand. I'm going to start with the back walkover version, so the first step is to practice placing your ankles together mid back walkover. Once you can do that, try switching which leg is in front when your legs are together. Then remove the connection in the middle to do a back walkover switch. If you want to do a front walkover switch, repeat those exact same steps except going forward. If 
if you can already do a front walkover, this next one is super simple. Start like you're about to go into a front walkover, except place the arm closest to the leg in front, out parallel to the ground. Keeping your arms in this position, practice kicking up the back leg like you're about to go into a front walkover. Finally, complete the walkover with your arm out to the side to do a one-handed front walkover. And that's all five of the walkover variations, so I hope this video helped you learn them. I definitely recommend focusing on one of the walkovers at a time so that you can get the hang of it. And then once you've got that one down, you can always come back to this video to learn a new variation. Don't forget, if you want to enter my walkover contest, I'll have a link to download the Compete app down in the description. And today's flexibility transformation feature goes to that underscore girl underscore nav zero on TikTok. Bye!